doing? How we doing? This is Gloria. Okay, now, uh, today's video, I'm making another Halloween card, and I'm using the Cricut Cartridge Light Bump in the Night. And for those of you who don't have this cartridge, this cartridge is really cute. The cuts are really easy and quick to put together, which are really awesome for the Cricut Cartridge Lights, the Cricut Light cartridges because they're so easy and they're not so many cuts that you have to put together. The most cuts you have to do is put four cuts together and that's the base and the three little layers that go on top like the shoes, the hat, the clothes or you know something like that. But I'm using this cartridge and I'm using this paper stack. It's called the green tea stack and um, I am using the paper It's around here somewhere. I'm using this paper pattern today. Okay, so let's get started. My card is going to be a Z fold card. So I already scored it. So what you do is just get a five and a half by eight and a half. Score it. No, it's five and a half by eight and a half. Score it at four and a quarter, and then score it again at two and one one eight and there goes your z fold card okay so let's start decorating the inside for the inside i have these pattern papers so i got the pattern paper that i'm using and this blue mat and then i have this paper trim that i got and i'm going to adhere that right there just like that and this paper punch that I use is a Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punch. And it's this one right here, which is a really cute, you know, it's a, a set. So, I, you know, I love this one. This one is adorable. So, I figured I'd use it on this cut. So, let's adhere all of these together. Okay, now I'm going to adhere this to my card base. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this trim to it. It's not that one. It has to be this one. And no, that one is my new one. I wonder what's wrong with it. Okay. There it is. It just needed a little push. A really hard push at that. I must have left it uncapped. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this down here. And I'm just going to leave a little border of blue on the bottom. So it's going to look just like that. Okay, now for my sentiment on the inside... I'm going to, let me bring this in a little bit.
I'm going to stamp on the inside. It's going to say Happy Halloween. And this is the Scrappy Mom stamp set called Bewitch. So let me find my little block. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Ooh, don't that happen to you guys? You're looking for something and it's right there in your face. Okay. So now I'm just going to use Black Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle. Happy Halloween. Cool. Ooh. Okay. So let's put that away. Now, let's start decorating the front. Now, for the front of my card, I'm only going to decorate this part right here. Okay. So I'm going to use this green trim, the blue trim, and then the designer trim. And I'm going to adhere all these three right down and that's going to look just like for my card. So let me put these all together. Okay, now I'm going to adhere this I love that my gun is working right again let me stop talking about it because I might curse myself Okay, and before I attach this panel to my card, I want to stamp my, my sentiment. So, with the same Scrappy Mom stamp set, I'm going to use the stamp set called Ghouls Just Want to Have Fun. So, and I'm going to use Black Momento Tuxedo Black Ink. I got my fingers all black now. Okay, so now I'm just going to stamp this right down here at the bottom. Ghouls just want to have fun. Yay! I thought that was a cute sentiment, especially for my little monster that I got over here. I thought he was really, really cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to adhere him, I mean this panel, to my base card. So let me get back in frame. Ok, 
Okay. Now there goes my card and there goes the inside of my card. Okay. So now for my main attraction, I have, you know, I forgot something in here. Oh, yes, I did. Let me see if I could bring it up. Let me see. I got it up. Let me correct this. So now I'm going to put more tape to that same cut that I ended up messing up. I was wondering why I had something extra. Now I know why. I was missing my green mat. So now let me adhere this to my card base. Okay, and you can't even tell that I did a boo-boo earlier. Okay, so there goes my trim part. Now, on the... Where's my cartridge? On this Bump in the Night cartridge, there was a really cute, cute monster. And it's him right there. I thought he was so adorable, so I had to cut him out. Okay. So, here he goes. I thought he was stinking cute. Oh, my God. Then I started thinking about what if I end up putting, instead of having his eyes normal, why won't I just put googly eyes there? So then I wasn't sure. But you guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know if I should leave the googly eyes. Because I'm going to adhere him right here. Just like that. Okay. So, I already put him on one thickness of foam tape. And what I did, I just taped him on one side. Because you don't want to tape them on the on this side where it's touching this paper. So, and I wanted to pop him up. So, I put him on one thickness of foam tape. So, now let me put him down. And I want to kind of put him in a position where he's actually covering the inside sentiment. So, that you don't see it on the outside. And I think that looks good. So there you go, guys. There goes my card. And there goes the inside. You know, I think I'm going to put a strip in here. Yeah, I actually really like, let me see,
Okay. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do it off camera, though. But I'm going to put another strip of decorative uh, pattern paper in here. And there goes my card, guys. Ghouls just want to have fun. And I thought the card came out so cute. The colors were perfect to go with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day now, guys. Bye. And there goes the inside.